Once again, it's time to look at the top players who will be returning for their teams in the upcoming season. Today, we're talking about five of the top quarterbacks coming back to lead their programs in 2024. And we start with the NAIA National Player of the Year, Northwestern's Jalen Gramstad. The senior has led the Red Raiders to the national championship game in each of the last two seasons, winning one and losing one. Northwestern has gone 24-1 and with Gramstad as the starter. He led the country in 2023 in completion percentage at 70.1%. He was third in the NAI in passing yards with 3,394 last year and fourth in touchdown passes with 35. And although he wound up using his arm in 2023 more than his legs to gain yardage, Gramstad still had five games in which he topped 100 yards rushing. Cade Ross came off a season of injury in 2022 in which he was still named the Hart North Freshman of the Year. 2023 gave Ross obstacles to overcome as well, but he still led the North in passing yards and was named the Co-Offensive Player of the Year for his performance. In just 10 games on the field, Ross posted 36 touchdown passes, second in the NAI, and threw for 285.8 yards per game, which was fourth in the country. He added five rushing touchdowns on the season as well, and he threw for six touchdowns twice. If Ross is able to connect with Gerald Monroe, potentially the NAI's top receiver throughout the year, the Jackets could be playing into December. We move to the Hart South and another program with great potential in 2024. The Mid-American Nazarene Pioneers will be led once again by Adrian Parsons. The senior was one of two QBs to throw for more than 300 yards per game at 300.9 and connected with his receivers for 28 touchdowns. He completed a very respectable 64.3% of his passes and had just eight interceptions. He threw for a season-high 491 yards and four touchdowns in the season finale at Benedictine, leading the Pioneers to the win that earned the share of the Hart South title. Parsons owns the NAIA single-game passing record, a 659-yard performance in the season finale of his freshman year. The next quarterback doesn't have the same kind of passing stats as the others, and it's not even close. In fact, there was one game last season in which he didn't even throw a pass. But that's not how Cavante Baker and the Friends Falcons get it done. Baker was fourth in the NAI in 2023 in rushing yards, leading the way for the best ground game in the country and averaging 115.3 yards per game by himself. He also had the second most rushing touchdowns in the nation with 25 of those. Baker had a four-touchdown afternoon in a big win on the road at Bethel, and those four TDs came in a game in which only three quarters were played. Nathan Herstich was third in the NAI in passing yards per game as a freshman, second as a sophomore, and led the country in passing yards per game in his junior season. He threw for 310.1 yards per game in 2023. He had two 400-yard performances, including a 467-yard day with four TDs thrown against Lindsey Wilson. That was one of four four touchdown afternoons. The offense really went through her stitch as he was behind only Cade Ross in passing attempts per game with 39 and a half of those each Saturday. At Midwest Sportsnet, we're looking forward to seeing these players and so many more take to the field in 2024. Please continue to enjoy the videos here on the channel. God bless you and have a great day.